Okay, so this is a, a really hot topic right now. You may have noticed a update from Google about this, uh, about third party API access being restricted for under 18s from the 31st of July. Uh, we posted an update about this in the apps events technical community as well. So there's a link in there too to um, go and read, but I've got a link here uh, and a video of more information. But just really quickly, what this is, uh, let's go back to the uh, admin console and yeah, that'd be a bit easy to explain it. So within your admin console, if you go to security, authentication, and it's like access and data control and API controls. Now within here, you can see what third party apps your users have used a Google account to sign into. So let's select manage third party app access and first of all i'm going to select view list and this will give me a breakdown of all the different third-party apps which users have used their school google account to sign in with and these might be a website where they've just hit that sign in with google button and it's just shared like with adobe here it's just shared some basic information about their profile to enable that sign in to happen but then you've got other apps like Chrome extensions, Android apps, iOS apps, which um, might have uh, might request some more permissions. So let's take Pear Deck, for example. So with Pear Deck, I can see it's being used by 182 users on this domain, and it's asked for Classroom and Drive access. Uh, and these are potentially, if you don't trust the app, and you know, Pear Deck's a great app, so I don't have any concerns there but if it's an app you've never heard of before you know you might want to investigate that more because having those permissions could allow that to read and delete data on that drive so the big change which is happening on the 31st of july is that under 18s won't be able to use third-party apps with their school google account unless you explicitly trust those apps so you can do that from this interface here so let's select one I've not already con configured. Um, let's take Read and Write, for instance, by Text Help. And this is an app I trust. It's a great app. And I want to allow our users to continue to use this after July. So to do that, all I need to do is select Change Access. I can select whether I want to change access for the whole domain or just a particular OU. But I want everyone to use this on a domain. So let's select everyone and hit Next. And then I can select trusted. I can select limited where it can only use unrestricted Google data. I'll go into that a little bit more in a second, or I can block it. But in this case, let's select trusted. Press next and then select change access and hit confirm. So now I've done that, all users on my domain, including under 18s, will be able to continue to use that app. But any apps you don't do that for will be blocked. So if it's something you don't act on, uh, it could cause some disruption when students come back in September. So highly recommend looking at this list. You can uh, you can download all of this into a Google Sheet and look at it in there. If it's a bit easier to analyze it in there and modify it there uh, and then bulk update it from using that sheet. Or you can just go through manually and go through each one and change access there. But once you've done that, if we go back to API controls and select manage third party app access, in here, we can see all the apps we've already configured. And just one other thing here, uh, you might see some of these apps have a verified uh, badge. Uh, that just means that Google have verified the how that app interacts with Google, and it's using Google's latest modern security standards, and it's one Google has reviewed. Uh, so there may be apps which are Google verified, uh, which you may not want your users to be using, so in which case, you know, leave that as uh, turn that off, block that app. Uh, but other, on the other hand, Kahoot, for instance, you know, Kahoot's a great educational app. It's just not Google verified yet. Maybe Google haven't checked it yet, um, but it's still one I want my users to use. So it's one I've allowed access for. So um, yeah, as I say, I've got more details uh, about all of this on this slide deck, on this learn more link. And we've got a helpful video here as well, but I highly recommend that you uh, have a look into that um, before the end of July, just to avoid any disruption.